Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Northern Electric Galleon telephone and it's a rotary desk telephone. These are really nice telephones because they're in the Art Deco style. And this is Robert's telephone from Kentucky. And Robert's got a note with this telephone. This is the initial checkout. And he says it dials slowly. The ringer doesn't work. Um, the dial needs a phone number insert right here in the center is what he's talking about, a dial center ring card. Uh, cord out of the back is cracked. And yes, it is all cracked. It's uh, weathered, basically. And... Uh, Everything is cracked. If you move it, it'll just crack on you. And then somebody's added a piece to it so that it could be plugged into the line cord. So all that needs to be changed. He also mentions that uh, the cord from the handset to the phone is a little short. So we want to make sure that uh, We'll contact Robert. We want to make sure that he wants this replaced. The rest of it we definitely need to work on. And I want to give you a look at the inside. We know that's shot. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way. We don't need this. And I want to go ahead and give you a look at the telephone. It's in very good condition. Although Robert did ship this telephone with a handset on the base, I suggest that that's not the way uh, customers ship telephones in because this is a very heavy handset. And if it slaps back and forth in the cradle, it'll break the telephone. And you take a chance of breaking the receiver caps too. So that's not a good idea to ship it that way. If you've never seen the inside of one of these, I want to give you a look. So everything is here. It basically just needs a lot of work. So we'll be going through this telephone. I want to give you a, a look at the bottom of this telephone. It's in very good condition. And then the Art Deco style in the back. Very cool telephone. So we're going to be working on this and we're going to get some more video of this telephone as we move along in the repair of this uh, telephone. I'm going to take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and I basically want to show you a little bit about what's going on with the telephone at this point. Uh, we have installed a modular port adapter and a new line cord. So basically what happens is we can take this line cord and go ahead and plug into our modular adapter that I have here and that makes for a simple clean connection that way if the line cord ever goes bad all you have to do is install another line cord and simply plug into the modular port adapter and there's no splicing of any wires uh, or anything like that so it's a nice clean easy connection plug and play we also worked on the bell and got the bell straightened out and adjusted and got it wired properly but there was some issues with the bell and they had to be repaired so we want to go ahead and I have the hook switch uh, held down so we want to go ahead and ring the telephone now so the bell circuits working I want to let that go a few times Let it go one more time. I'll release the hook switch and give you some dial tone. But now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and replace this handset cord. I went ahead and talked to Robert and now we want to replace this handset cord because he feels it's not long enough and when the lines are coming out of the back of the telephone like they do on these Northern Electrics uh, they do not 
seem to be long enough. So we want to get a different cord on here and that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to go ahead and take a short break from the video and uh, we're going to get that taken care of and we're going to go ahead and do our final checks. Now we also went ahead and went through the rotary and the rotary has been finished up. I want to show you the insert that we put on this. It's more to the period of the telephone. We'll get a still picture of that. And so that turned out really nice. So we'll go ahead and take our break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone. So basically I want to show you the handset cord. That was replaced. It is a little short and when they come out of the back of the phone, like I said earlier, it makes them even shorter. So we have a replacement now and that has plenty of length on it and there won't be any issue with uh, answering the telephone and the cord being too short. We'll get rid of that cord there. And so now what we can do is uh, our final checks, but I want to run through a little bit of everything that went on with this telephone. Of course the handset cord was replaced and we installed a new modular line cord and that way uh, they can plug it into any jack now and there won't be any issues with uh, the old line cord was all spliced together and it was cracking and dry rotted. We went ahead and went through the connections in the handset and the receiver here because of the fact that we replaced the cord and we always like to check those connections. We installed a dial center card that's more to the period of this telephone in the Northern Electric style. And so we went through the rotary, cleaned it, oiled, and adjusted the rotary, and we uh, made sure that the rotary was returning properly. As you can see, it's a lot more smooth and returns a lot faster now. And that was one of the issues. Uh, it seemed to be slow and sluggish, and so that's been taken care of. We went through the network and the wiring, made sure everything was proper there, and checked all the connections. We also had to repair the bell circuit, and that's been taken care of. So basically a little bit of everything we had to go through and make sure it was all proper and the telephone has been repaired. So now we can do our final checks. I want to go ahead and ring the telephone and I'm going to let that go a few times because that was one of the issues. I'll let it go two more times. I'm going to give you some dial tone. Now what I want to do if you watch the analyzer, I want to walk through my numbers. I'm going to end in a 2 and now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch the red light on the analyzer, every time you see that red light, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is ringing. We know that it has transmit, receive, and that it's dialing out properly now. What we can do is, I have a switch box here, and if I push that button, it totally takes the analyzer out of the situation and gives me a line out. So what we'll call is a time and temp number. Give you some dial tone.
Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Sunny, breezy, hot and humid today, a high in the mid-90s, heat index 100. Partly cloudy tonight, 30% chance of a shower and a thunderstorm. Lows around 70, mostly sunny on Thursday, a high in the mid-80s. Okay. We can call one other number. We can call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some doubt, huh? Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Robert and he can start enjoying this telephone. It's a very cool northern electric galleon telephone. People really like these telephones. We get a lot of calls about them. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618 235 6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.